Good morning, everyone. Um, I hope all is well on today. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Thursday on this beautiful day. Um, since this week is almost over, I just want to stop in for a minute and talk with you a little bit. Um, I've been dealing with um, just the, I've just been dealing with this with praise and worship. I guess that's just been my focus on this week. Um, because I just want to share with you a little information because I think a lot of times people really don't know what a praise and worshiper is. Uh, the first thing um, I would like to say is that, you know, we were designed to praise and worship. A lot of people have the tendency um to put restrictions on God, I've noticed throughout this life I've lived. Uh, as the past couple of years, as I as I have grown closer in God and with God, I find I find hearing people, um, you know, always it seems like that people are confused, and that's a spirit, a spirit of confusion. That's one of the things that the enemy loves. He, 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 he loves confusion and chaos. And one of the things he fights the most is praise and worship. So, you know, we need to be mindful and we need to know the devices that the enemy is using against us. That he knows that he doesn't like praise and worship. So if he fights it the most, he wants to do everything he can to bring confusion and chaos in the body of Christ. And, you know, because I notice a lot of times people say, it don't take all that to praise God. But I, I can't agree with that because when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done, you know, you can't hold your peace. Because when you think about the things God, some people have been through so much stuff, so much, so much turmoil and chaos throughout their life. And when you see people praising and dancing, and, and, and just like they have lost their mind, you, you need to be mindful because they're praising because they've been through something. And see, your best praise is when you've been tested and tried by the enemy, but you made it. And you can testify and say that, hey, I've been through hell and high waters, but God knows I am still here. I am standing. I am declaring. You know, so when you when you can praise God after your storm, then that's when your best praise comes. See, a lot of times people don't want to praise and worship God God until it's convenient. And and that's one of the things I want to deal with, convenient. God says it's time for us to get out of this convenient stuff. We got to get out of this stuff where it, it we depends on we depend on the music, we might depend on a particular praise and worship leader, we depend on um a particular uh, prayer that's prayed, a particular message, who's going to preach. We got to get out of this fixed stuff with depending on how our praise is going to be. That's the question. God says, can you praise me in a tight place? Can you praise me when things are going wrong? Can you praise me when your finances are clashing? Can you praise me when sickness is in your body? See, that's, that's the question. Can you still praise God in an uncomfortable position? So that's the question he's asking us. What does it take for you to praise me? I mean, what, what, what does it really take truly for you to praise God? Is it a particular preference that you like? Um, you know, because a lot of times we go off of emotions. We don't want to really, you, we are dragging the church and we'll say, oh, Lord, I hope so-and-so seen today. I hope so-and-so seen this song. I hope the praise team do this. I hope the minister preach this. You know, and it seems like if the message, the song, the music is not hitting what we wanted to hit, it's uncomfortable and we can't praise God. But we got to stop depending on people. We got to stop depending on music. We got to stop depending on the emotions because we are designed to praise. So therefore, it, it, it shouldn't be any. You shouldn't uh, have any things that you have to depend depend on to put you into the presence of God. See, 
you ought to be able to just come with your own fire. See, I had to learn because I used to be that person that I, it, it was a struggle. I was, I was like, look, if you know, if I need this, God, I need. If son so don't do this, Lord, it's gonna be hard for me to create an atmosphere. It's gonna be hard for me to do this. But that's the question God is asking us. See, you got to learn to know how to make your own chemistry. Um, you know, because Psalms 150, and if I'm not mistaken, Psalms 150 and 6 says, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. So that means it's, it's not any, um, exemptions or any, um, reason why you shouldn't praise the Lord. Because if you have breath in your body, he's already told us it's not an option, uh, that we get to choose as to whether we want to praise. He already made a command saying, let everything. That means if the birds can sing a song, if they can chirp a noise, whatever they do, if they can say, we, we ought to not be quiet. It's time for us to stop being quiet in the body of Christ. It's time for us to open up and exalt. We got to start getting into more exaltation and, 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 you know, exalting God and praising God because praise is an act of worship. So, like I say, praise is an act of worship. Worship is giving the reference to whom it's deserved to, and that is God. And that's when some people with worship, they go down on their knees. Some begin to cry out to God. Some begin to bow down. Some begin to just lift their hands. It's different acts of worship. I'm not saying that you have to do one of the things because everybody, you know, praise and worship God in their own way. But what I'm, what I am saying is that we got to get out of our comfortable positions and places. We got to stop depending on certain people, certain things to get us into the presence of God. Like I say, once again, you got to learn to create your own fire, your own chemistry. If nobody else is in the building but praising God, if nobody else is praying, if nobody else is singing, nobody else is dancing, you be that significant one that God has chosen because we were designed and created in his image to praise and worship. So whatever is in you will come out. See, praise and worship it's not just an act or something that you do. Praise and worship is a lifestyle. So if you are truly living it, it will show. Oh God, that's that's good. If it is in you, whatever is in you, it will come out. So that means if you were if you are a true praiser, if you are a true worshiper, it's gonna come out. It, it, it ought to not be a limitation as to where it just comes out on Sunday, comes out on Wednesday. It's a lifestyle every day. If you just go in the store and say, thank you, Jesus. If you're in your car singing, you ought to just be praising and worshiper because a real praise and worshiper don't care who's around. A real praiser and worshiper doesn't care what the atmosphere may seem like. A real praiser and worship knows how to create their own chemistry. That is what a true praise and worship is. So, I'm not trying to get on here and preach because God knows. But when, when I make these videos, y'all, these videos are coming from the heart. These videos are coming from things that I have personally experienced myself because I know what it took for me to get into the presence of God. I know what it takes for me to be moved. I know and I have learned that you cannot depend on people to get you where you need to be with God because people will let you down every time. You got to know God for yourself. You got to know who he is, what he is, and what he is about because God is a spirit. And if he is a spirit, we are supposed to worship him in the spirit and in the truth because he is our God. He is our creator. He is Alpha and Omega, first and the last. So we have to know, we have to know we have to know. We have to know, y'all, because this is so important that we know what side we're standing on. Because I've learned, see, a lot of times when we say little things, as in, for example, I, 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 um, I think I said it early in this video, that a lot of times people will say, it don't take all of that. It don't, it, it, you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. But, that's when the enemy just got you because sometimes we say things and we don't 
think before we actually speak them. When you make the statement, it doesn't take all that. That's what the devil wants. See, David danced out of his clothes. We got to be praisers like David. David didn't care who was around him. See, that's the thing. When you make little statements, the devil gets the victory every time. Every time you open up your mouth and say what it does not take, I cannot do this. I don't know if that's where the devil got the victory of you right then. And you didn't even know it. He just took it and ran with it. And that's what he's doing. He comes like a thief in the night hours stealing. He comes taking whatever, seeking whomever he may be able to devour. And see, we have to stop being ignorant of the devices because God has angels and Satan has them. So Satan is on the move every day. Every day, every day, he's uh, circling this earth. He's circling, doing things that he can to destroy. He's searching and doing destructive things. So he knows, he knows everything that we don't like. He knows our weakness, he, our weaknesses. He knows um, our temptations. He knows um, our desires. He knows everything that there is. He knows where to get you to move because he knows if I can get her to do this or if I can get him to do this, if I can get him to say this, if I can get him to go or her to go here, I just won. See, because the devil doesn't like when we give God the victory. He doesn't like it. See, that's why when you shout the name of Jesus, he has no place. It, it drives him crazy. That's why you got to learn to praise God. That's that's the that's the message for today. Can you praise God in an uncomfortable place, an uncomfortable position, an uncomfortable status? Because see, you you got to learn. You got to go through the fire. See, some of you, I, I know I'm talking to somebody this morning. Somebody was going through the fire. They didn't know how they were gonna make it this week. Somebody had just has just lost their job. Some of his finances, finances are on the way of clashing. They're on the way of filing bankruptcy. But I come to drop a word on you today. God says favor is already here. Favor is here. And God says it's up to you whether you take it or not. You know, so that that's for somebody. And I hope that this video today is going to benefit you on today. It's going to uh, impact you. Um, you know, because... Sometimes people go through so much. You, the people that you think um, things are just going perfect, people you you just can't go off of looks anymore. Like the like the people say, you cannot judge a book by its cover because people are going through things every day. The people that we think are not going through things are the ones who are going through them, but they might not be showing. But that's that's why you got to learn to just be an encourager. We have to learn to encourage one another, uphold one another, and just be there for one another because people need, we, we need each other every day in this life that we live because we go through different obstacles, trials, challenges, and tribulations. And you know, sometimes people just need somebody to talk to. They just need a word of encouragement because you don't know what might be going through people's minds and you know, People are going through all sorts, all kinds, and all different things, and we just never know. <coughs> Excuse me, we just never know. But that's just what I want to leave you all with. And, you know, like I said, I pray that all is well because we know all is well. When we have God on our side, nothing is impossible. All things are possible with God. So I just want to... um. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close out with the word of prayer, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be done. Okay. So, Heavenly Father, we come to you on this morning, oh God. We just thank you, oh God, for another day, oh God. We thank you for the word that you have given me to share on to these social networks, God. We thank you, uh, Father God, just for who you are, oh God, and we worship you, oh God, in the spirit and in the truth, oh God. We honor you on this morning, oh God, and we love you, God. We just say thank you, God, for everything that you've done, oh God. I pray right now that doors are already being opened, oh God, that doors are being opened, that no man will be able to shut on today, oh God. Oh, Father God, I pray right now that as we walk, oh God, that we tread upon the serpents, oh God, the scorpions, oh God, and all the 
the wild beast of the enemy, oh God. I pray right now, oh God, that we're not ignorant of the devil's devices, oh God. I pray today, oh God, that we tap into the spiritual realm of what you have for us on today, oh God. Oh God, as we go on to our jobs, oh Father God, I pray right now, oh God, thank you, Jesus. I pray right now that no demon, oh God, can stop what you have ordained, oh God. Oh God, for we were designed to praise and worship God. And so I say today, God, we will say today, oh God, all is well, oh Father God. We say to God that we can praise you in an uncomfortable place, oh God. We can praise you, oh God, when our finances are going down, oh God. We can praise you when we're not feeling well, oh God. We praise you on today, oh Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for your mercy, oh Lord God. I feel my help, God. Hallelujah, oh Lord God. We bless your holy name, oh Lord God, and we thank you, oh Father God. We bless your holy name, oh God, for you are our God. You are Alpha and Omega, oh God, and we honor you on today, oh Lord God. We love you, oh God, and we just worship you on today, oh God, for we were designed for such a time as this, oh God, and we tap into the spiritual realm on this morning, oh Lord God, and say, have your way through us on today, oh God. Let us be that light that sits upon a hill, oh God, that shines, oh God, so that the people might see us through you, oh God. We just thank you, oh Lord God. We love you, oh Lord God, and we honor you on today, oh God. I pray, oh God, that whatever was said on today, oh God, that it begins to resonate right now in the spirit, oh God, begins to sink into the minds, oh God, and just begin 